the Italian Greyhound. Nicknamed Iggy, the Italian Greyhound is a miniature edition of the English Greyhound. It is also known as Piccolo Levriero Italiano. History and Origin of the Italian Greyhound Illustrations from ancient Egypt show that ancestors of this breed existed more than 6,000 years ago. It is assumed that sailors brought the dogs from Egypt to Italy from the 5th century BC onwards. In Rome, the breed was favoured by patrician women and by the 14th century, the breed had gradually spread throughout Europe. It would have been common to see the dogs at European royal courts. Frederick II, the King of Prussia, is said to have owned as many as 40 of these Italian sighthounds. Furthermore, Queen Anne, Queen Victoria and Catherine the Great were also enthusiastic owners. The dogs appear in numerous Renaissance paintings of the time. Trips to Italy were popular among wealthy people during the 17th and 18th centuries and many would bring a small greyhound as a souvenir. Appearance of the Italian Greyhound The breed standard specifies a height at the withers of 32 to 38 centimeters, while the weight should not exceed 5 kilos. The dogs have a life expectancy of around 12 to 15 years. Italian Greyhounds have a short, thick, fine and silky coat that hardly loses any hair. They come in different shades of grey, black and Isabella, a light yellow-beige colour. Only solid colour dogs are permitted by the standard, although white markings on the paws and chest are tolerated. Breeding clubs of the USA and the UK also allow bicoloured dogs. The dog's body is long and elongated, and its head is narrow and oblong-shaped. With its almost fragile-looking legs and its upwardly curved tail, it moves with supple elegance. Its triangular ears are folded forward and its dark, almond-shaped eyes appear alert and attentive to the world, giving the dog a graceful and noble expression. Temperament and training of the Italian Greyhound The small greyhounds are charming, affectionate, intelligent and very active. Over the years they have been particularly suitable as companion and society dogs. The dogs never like to be alone and crave close contact with its owner. Therefore, it is best for them to live with another dog, preferably from the same breed. The dogs need a consistent and loving upbringing and if they are joining a family, children should be especially careful when playing with them as they are often prone to injuries. Exercise and care of the Italian Greyhound Although they may seem like lap dogs, the dogs are in fact greyhounds, so they require long, extensive walks with the occasional chance to sprint over short distances. And like greyhounds, they have a distinct hunting instinct. Unfortunately, the dogs are very sensitive to the cold and susceptible to some diseases such as epilepsy, under-centered testicles or patella luxation, which causes the kneecaps to move out of place. Their teeth are particularly weak, so intensive daily dental care is essential. Occasionally, Italian greyhounds can suffer from myoglobinuria, which is caused by physical overexertion, where the muscles overacidify, resulting in cramps. One symptom of this is dark brownish urine. Because the dogs hardly lose any hair, they are ideal for people with allergies. Their short coats do not need any special care.